Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com and SportmanMotors.com. I'd like to share with you an update. Um, this is the 65 Coupe by Factory 5 Racing. Um, in our previous video we were sharing with you, or we kind of teased you, that we were working on uh, engineering and designing a window frame, a working window uh, that's going to fit this car. Um, we've had lots of emails and a lot of calls saying, hey, where's the video for it? So we finally have the mock-up here and it's ready. So if the camera per can person can just come to the side here. So we're on the driver's side right now and we have, it's going to be, a, so this is all a metal frame. It has an open channel with no weather stripping yet. So what we intend to do to not take away from the look of the car, this will be media blasted, this frame. We'll powder coat it, a powder coated primer to seal all of the metal. And then we'll perform body work on it. And then whatever color the car is going to be, I believe that the window frame will be the same color as the body. So this example, this car is going to be blue with the white stripes. So then we will do the blue and it's going to look like it's all part of the car. It's all natural. So this cardboard that you see here is simulating the glass window. So what I'd like to do is, um, I'm really impressed, hopefully you are too, because um, there's been people that have tried or attempted uh, to have a power window. So there's a few things that we've done that I'm really impressed with, and the guys were able to figure out to have this window, believe it or not, um, it travels all the way to the bottom. And I don't think anybody's been able to figure it out yet. So I just have a, a battery here and the wiring. So what we're gonna do, it's going to be on a switch obviously to go up and down. It's not a manual window. Uh, they've created a, uh, a power window. So here we go. What we'll do is we'll just have it come down. And you can see with it in the down position, this it simulates the edge of the glass. And so you can see it's below the body. And then we'll be trimming that out with a door panel on the inside. So now we'll go to put it up. And I'll just set it on the battery here and up it goes. So that's just with cardboard for now. Um, so what we're going to do next, um, we're going to have actuators. So we've, we've purchased a, uh, a high-end actuator kit. The guys are now going to design the actuator to work with the latch. It's going to be on a, on a keyless entry. So this is going to make all of these uh, Daytona Tribute cars or 65 Coupe factory five car very secure because you're going to be able to open and shut the door uh, there's no way with the window up there's no way no one can no one will be able to get in the car unless you pop it uh, with the remote and then we have a power window going both up and down so this is quite an accomplishment the guys have been working on it for I think it's three weeks straight um, so I'm really proud and happy with the way they've come up with this I think it's going to be a big deal for uh, making the car more secure and enjoyable so there'll be another video, because um, what we're doing is we're going to work on the other side, uh, the passenger side of this car. We have the same design already in place and installed. Um, and then we'll have the actuator. We'll probably just share with you the next video with the actuator installed, probably the plexiglass in. And then we'll be able to shut the door, show you how it works with the plexiglass, um, and then a remote. Later, when it goes into production, this plexiglass will be a pattern and we have a glass company that's going to make safety glass with the exact same dimensions that we have here for both driver and passenger side. So it'll be safety approved glass and we'll be able to install it in this whole system. So I thank you for watching. I'm John from Last Chance, AutoStore.com.